Hello friends, this is Manoj. In today's video, we will learn how we can create routing in React application. So, for that, I have already created a React application. You can see routing app. This is the folder, and in this folder, we have all our React application folders like node modules, public, SRC folder. So, now we have to open this folder into our Visual Studio code. So, if you have Visual Studio code, then it's okay. And if you don't have Visual Studio code in your machine, then you have to download it. So, let me open this folder into Visual Studio code. For that, we have to open this location into command prompt. And here, we just write code dot hit enter. So, it will open the project in Visual Studio code. Let me close this. So this is our app.js file. So let me run it. For it, we have to write npm start. So it will start our development server and we would be able to see it in browser. You can see localhost colon 3000. This is the default URL of React application. So here it is. So now we will do some changes for routing. For that, let me go to SRC folder and create a new folder, components and inside this component folder we have to create separate separate components or you can say files for our pages like home.js. So inside this home.js let me write some code, import react from react then it will return a function home so inside this we will return a div and inside a div let me use h1 like this is home page and also a paragraph we are into react routing tutorial okay let me also use a image here for image let me copy this and use it here now finally we have to export it home so our home component is ready let me save it let me create another component about.js and let me copy all the data and paste in about so majority of code is same let me change home to about let me copy this and export also about sorry let me write it here this is about page and let me copy the about image url paste it so our about dot js is complete now let me create another file service.js let me copy the entire code of about.js and paste in service let me change this service change it here here also and I have a service image page let me copy the URL and let me paste it here so our service component is ready Finally, let me create a contact.js which is our contact us component. Let me copy all the code from service.js and paste in contact.js. Let me copy the contact us image URL and replace it. And here we have to 
right contact here also and finally we have to export contact save so we have created four components home about us services contact all right now let me also create a component like header dot js so in header let me import react from react now function header inside header we will return a div and inside div let me create a table and a tr and inside tr let me create a td first so in td let me write home page another td will let me write about page and in third td let me write service page and in last td we will use it for contact page all right about now finally we have to export it export default header let me save it so our header is done now go to app.js here let me import react from react now we have to import all our components like header from components header now we will import our home from components home now we will import our about from components slash about now we will import our service from component service and finally we will import our contact components contact fine now let me remove this let me save it so we have to import some other things from react router dom and these things are browser router as router you can use it as browser router but i'm giving it a shorter name as router and another thing is route so inside our app written method we will use header and after header we will use router let me save it and inside router we have to create multiple routes like for home about service and contact let me create a route for home home page let me copy it and paste let me change it to about this is for service and this is for contact now for route we have to use some properties like one is path path is for like 
the URL. So for home we are using only slash and after that we have to give component like to which component it belongs to. So this belongs to home. So we have to give path for about also. So for about it would be slash about and component would be about. We create it for service also. Service component would be service, and finally, path for contact component contact. Fine, let me save this now we have to go to browser and check what is happening see we are into home if i navigate to about you can see about but we can see home with the about also let me check for service service is coming but home is also coming why because it is checking if it contains slash then it will render home also so for that we have to pass exact keyword so it will check if exact if only slash is there then it will render home if it is not there then it will render the next components so let me save it now let me go back if I write about you can see we can see about only if I navigate to contact then we can see contact page great so now Let me save it by mistake. So we can see multiple links over here, but these are not links, these are simple static text. So we have to convert all these static text into links. So how we can do that? For that, we have to go header.js, and here we have to import some property from react outer dom this is called link so we will use this link inside these tds so we will create our first link for home page so let me use link and link has a property to it's a path so to we are giving slash for home Let me wrap home page inside link. So this is our home page. Fine. So let me copy this and let me change it for all the pages about and here we need to change the to about paste it here let me paste it here as well this is for service let me change the to service and this is for contact and let me change it here contact let me save it now go back to a browser and we can see you should not use link outsider router oops let me include here let me refresh it now you can see these are coming as links so if i go to about we can see we are in about page if we go to service we are in service page all right
now we have to go app.css let me give some style to our table so that it will look some beautiful type let me create a table background color let me give okay this one and uh, justify content space around and uh, align items center display flags all right let me save it now go back to our browser now you can see all right Now you can see we are on home page let me go to about we can see the about content is rendering we can go to service contact so you can see now we are using our routing for multiple components so let me go back to visual studio code so let me recap we have to create a folder and inside folder you can create multiple components for your multiple pages and once you create all the components then you have to go to app.js and you have to import all the components here and here you can use the browser router switch and route and after that you would be able to access your routing so that's it for the day i hope you like the video if you did so hit the like button share comment and if you haven't subscribed my channel go and subscribe so that whenever i post this kind of videos you will get the notification at the earliest so see you in the next video thanks for watching take care bye bye